So when it comes to real estate market right now in October 10th, 2022, I'm thinking about these two L's and two H's. The first L is longer days on the market. So homes aren't selling as fast uh, compared to like six months ago. Six months ago, the homes were selling within a day, within like three hours. So the homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer. The other low is a low competition. The competition is low. Uh, it's, you don't see as often as uh, the multiple offer situation like six, six months ago. We used to get anywhere between two to 30 offers at a time or more, and that is gone. High, high rate, high interest rate. Rate jumped from about three and a half percent to now doubled actually at 7% right now. And then high chance. What I mean by that is right now is the probably the highest chance you can get the house. If you find the house you like, the chance of you winning that house is much higher than ever before. Um, before you find your dream home, I used to tell the buyer, don't fall in love with that house because you may not be able to get that house because of the high competition. Now, if you find the dream home in the current sort of like a limited number of homes for sale, then the chance of you to get that house is much higher because a lot of the buyers are not in the market right now because of the interest rate. The interest rate is such a kind of funny thing. People get used to certain uh, interest rate when you get used to like 3% for too long, you think that's norm, but then now it's like doubled. It's like there's a mental, mental barrier that you just don't want to buy or look or anything. So you're just taking a break, which I think is not a good idea because if, if the interest rate jumps to 10%, you may be thinking, ah, the 7% was good. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the Fed's quantitative tightening cannot go forever. So at some point, they have to give up and lower that interest rate. In my prediction, um, I don't like to predict, but my prediction is that interest rate will drop in less than three years. So what does that mean to the consumers out there? If you, if you find a home that you love, that is your dream home, that you can live there forever. You might want to consider higher monthly payment that may be seven, eight hundred dollars a month extra. However, if, if you can find the dream home and get that dream home in three years, and within the three years, if the when the rate drops, you can refinance that home. And in the meantime, you've been living there for two or three years, which is a bonus. And then you can bring down the monthly payment by doing the refinancing. Is this a good time to buy? It depends, in my opinion. But if you find a home that you, you really love, this might be one of the best times. Because once the Fed lowered the interest rate back to, I say, 5.5%, maybe 4.5%, the market will go sort of like frenzy mode again. Then what's going to happen is you're going to pay like five to 10% more than asking price because you'll be competing with the other buyers. So is it the best news? No, it's not, but it is okay news. Um, so the key is, uh, do you want to find that home that you need and that you love to live in? And it all depends on that, I think. And if you find that, we can find a way to make it work. So. Hopefully that gives you some idea of what's going on in this sort of like a bad news, economical news time. But when it comes to real estate, you just need to look for the right opportunity and keep looking and find a way to fix the problem and uh, make it happen. Because it's something that, that you get to live in or you get to invest in, uh, unlike like a you know paperless stock market, the house is something that the Fed cannot print. Uh, they can print money every day, but they cannot print the house. 
So I think it's still a very smart asset, very, very tangible physical asset that you can hold on to. So I still believe in real estate. So hopefully that was giving you some hope. And if you have any questions, you know who to call. Thanks for watching.